Yeah, the origins of Net Promoter, it goes way back. I'm sure I can thank my parents for this, but I have a worldview that the best way to run a life is to treat people the way you treat a loved one. In a biblical sense, it's love thy neighbor, but I, it makes more sense in a business than it does in, a, in the Bible. In some ways, it's how am I going to turn a customer into someone who loves doing business with me and is going to come back more, bring their friends, do all these wonderful things promoters do? And we have no way of measuring that. And, and that was what Net Promoter was trying to get at. Have I treated you right? Have I um, lived up to this, what I consider the highest standard in human affairs? Have I lived up to love thy neighbor? So many people dismiss that as, oh, that's philosophy, oh, that's religion. No, that's common sense. That's how businesses win. And as we've begun measuring Net Promoter carefully, we see in industry after industry, the only guys that are growing consistently and delivering returns to their investors are the ones who are doing the best job at enriching the lives of customers and turning them into promoters and who feel like they have been loved. So this idea of love, I'm trying to turn it into a science. We actually measure it. And I know love is a tricky word. You know, some people use love to, you know, I love my mother, I love my dachshund, I love ice cream, I love my country. But love in, in the sense I mean it is caring about someone so much that your happiness and the relationship success gets the most energy by making that other person happy. So it's, it's focus on enriching the lives that you touch.